This past Sunday, Starbucks has announced their newest weird program called Race Together, where employees of Starbucks are encouraged to write Race Together on customers' cups and engage with patrons in conversations about race in hopes of narrowing the cultural divide. Okay, first, bravo. Bravo for trying to do something. Points awarded. That being said, wow. Most people who need to talk about race never want to talk about it. But let me tell you when they really don't want to talk about it. 7 a.m. before caffeine. Obviously, this new initiative of Starbucks has gotten a little bit of backlash so far, pushing the CEO to shut down his Twitter account. His response to critics can be summarized by my quick reenactment. Why are you all attacking me? You always say we need dialogue, more dialogue. So I did what I thought was right. Let's be civil. Yeah, more dialogue, an informed conversation about race in the right context, not one to help bridge the cultural divide between impatient hipster and barista, which is just another impatient hipster. Sure, that'll go fine, but watch when a real, in the flesh person of color gets bullied into a conversation about race by Tyler, the cashier with a BA in ethnic studies from City College. Tall black man latte for Jacqueline. Oh, oh, Jaquan. Well, now that I've fucked up both the spelling and pronunciation of your name, let's talk about our thoughts on the use of the word n Now see, I find that- No! No! What did you think was gonna happen? What did you think history was gonna say about this? But then, in 2015, racism got a new enemy. Starbucks. It was the baristas. With no training in race relations whatsoever, that healed a nation through conversation and frappuccino. But I'm saying to hell with it. Give them what they want. So the next time you go into Starbucks, go in fully loaded and ready to talk, and just see, see if Starbucks is really about it. See if Starbucks is really ready to have that conversation while other people are waiting in line. And maybe, just maybe, it'll be beautiful.